Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Your Trip Planning Explained, where we will discuss the little details on planning your trip to Japan. Things like transportation and lodgings are important stuff to plan ahead, and such information will be useful for your trip at any time. This series will have three parts: getting there, getting around, and staying there. For the next few episodes. We will discuss getting to and from the airports. This time, we will talk about the train options you can choose for Narita International Airport. Most travelers arrive in Japan at one of their major airports. Depending on the airline you use, you could be using Narita International Airport near Tokyo. Or Kansai International Airport near Osaka. Asian travelers will have some additional options, like Haneda International Airport in Tokyo, Fukuoka International Airport in Fukuoka, Kyushu, and New Chitose Airport near Sapporo, Hokkaido. Narita International Airport is located in Chiba Prefecture. It is about sixty kilometers. Or 37 miles away from Tokyo, one of the busiest airports in Japan. Most returning travelers would have used it at least once before, and first timers will most likely use this airport as well. From Narita, it takes as little as 30 minutes to at most an hour and a half to Tokyo. Various rail and bus companies operate services between Tokyo and the airport. For rail, East Japan Railway Company, or JR East in short, and Keisei Electric Railways are the major players. Both operate express trains and slower regular trains. They have stations at all Narita terminals. JR East operates Narita Express, the fastest direct train to Shinjuku, Ikebukuro, Shibuya, and Tokyo Station. Some trains will go to Yokohama as well. It takes one hour to travel from Tokyo Station to Narita or back, and slightly longer for the rest of the locations. For NEX trains, seat reservations are a must. If you're using JR Pass, either the national one or the one covering JR East services, you can ride NEX for free with your pass. Since NEX is reservations only, you still have to reserve your seats. You can reserve seats either online through this website, or at the ticket office with this marking. Regular round trip tickets will cost you six thousand one hundred and forty yen between Narita and Tokyo, and other locations will cost more. If you purchase the NEX Tokyo round trip ticket, that will cost you only four thousand and seventy yen for all locations. So this is a much better deal. JR East also runs a rapid train on the Narita line. A regular commuter service from Narita Airport into Tokyo and beyond. It takes one hour and a half to reach Tokyo. Costs one thousand three hundred forty yen each. No seat reservations required, and you can use your JR Pass to ride this train. Keisei Electric operates free trains between Narita and Tokyo. Skyliner is the fastest. It is a limited express train that runs from Narita to Nippori and Ueno. It takes only forty-one minutes to ride from Narita to Ueno, charging two thousand five hundred twenty yen each way. The train is also reservations only, like NEX. Keisei Electric also operates two slower services. First one is Access Express. This one offers direct access to Asakusa, Shinbashi, and Nihonbashi, in addition to Nippori and Ueno. It takes as little as fifty-eight minutes from Narita to Asakusa. This leg is one thousand three hundred two yen per person, and one hour four minutes from Narita to Ueno at Keisei Ueno Station, which costs you one thousand two hundred fifty-seven yen per person. This train does not require seat reservations. The other one is Keisei Main Line Rapid Limited Express. As the name suggests, it runs mostly on the Keisei Main Line to Keisei Ueno Station. While also provide trains to Asakusa, Nihonbashi, Shinbashi, and even Haneda International Airport. On the Keisei Main Line, it calls only a handful of stations. While from Oshiage onwards, 
the trains stop at all stations. This is the slowest among KC's airport services, and it's a regular commuter service. It also runs only during morning rush hours from 6 to 10 a.m. and at dusk from 6 to 7 p.m. So with all these selections, how would you use them? That will depend on where in Tokyo you are going to. If you are staying near stations of JR Yamanote line and you are using a JR pass, the best bet will be NEX. You could transfer to Yamanote line through any of the stops NEX made in Tokyo. The same goes for passengers going to Yokohama because basically that's a direct service. There are trains running every hour from Narita to Yokohama. If you just want to be in Tokyo as fast as possible, Skyliner will be your best friend. Even with the transfer at Ueno included, it's still faster than NEX. It's also cheaper. NEX one way is 3,070 yen to Tokyo, while Skyliner is 2,520 yen. Plus whatever transfer you need to use, either bus or Tokyo Metro or even uh, Yamanote line. Adding up, it still will stay within 3,000 yen budget. If you're staying near Ueno, Skyliner or Access Express will be the most direct route because it's stopped at Ueno. For Asakusa Shinbashi, Access Express will have direct connection. Although some of the Access Express trains requires a transfer at Aota Station, the trains are using the same platform, so all you have to do is just get off the train, wait for the next train. It's not really that inconvenient. So, you have different options for the journey between Narita Airport and Tokyo on rail. But what about the other options? Buses or maybe even taxi? I have some experiences on this, so we will discuss in the next episode. Okay, enough on the information, I want to know your experiences. Did you ride on any of these train services, especially the cheaper ones? What do you think about them? Let us know in the comments below. This is Felix from Travel Japan Like a Local. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.